Hey, I am Mr. Beat here. Which American presidents are related? Well, all of them are. Bye bye. Well, let me get more specific. But before we dive in, let me explain that we are just going to look at all the presidents who are closely related. How the heck would you define closely related? That's a good question. Okay, for the purposes of this video, let's say the presidents had to be at least eighth cousins. First, of course, we've got American presidents who are direct descendants. A direct descendant is a person born into or legally adopted into the direct line of an individual's descent. They can trace their lineage back from child to parent to a specific ancestor. So in that category, we've got two father-son presidential combos. John Adams, the second president, is the father of John Quincy Adams, the sixth president, George H.W. Bush, the 41st president is the father of George W. Bush, the 43rd president. And check this out. We also got a grandfather and grandson presidential combo. William Henry Harrison, the 9th president, is the grandfather of Benjamin Harrison, the 23rd president. Philo, my fifth cousin three times removed, is a step uncle to your father on my mother's side. Two <laughs> continents removed. I see, so we're sort of related by rumor. <laughs> now get out your cousin's charts because this is where it begins to get complicated. James Madison, the fourth president, and Zachary Taylor, the twelfth president, are second cousins. And Madison and Taylor are both second cousins once removed with James Polk, the eleventh president. The term removed is just a reference to the number of generations separating the cousins themselves. So Polk is second cousins with Madison and Taylor minus one generation. Now here's one you probably didn't see coming. Martin Van Buren, the eighth president, is third cousins with two other presidents. He's third cousins three times removed with Theodore Roosevelt and third cousins four times removed with Franklin Roosevelt. Speaking of the two Roosevelt presidents, they are both fifth cousins, so maybe not as close as you'd think. John Adams and Calvin Coolidge, the 30th president, are also third cousins but five times removed. Also, James Madison and, wait for it, Barack Obama are third cousins, but nine times removed. Here is a list of all presidents who are fourth cousins, and here is a list of all presidents who are fifth cousins. After that, it gets much less impressive. To put it in perspective, and I do mean to brag, I am fifth cousins four times removed with Dwight D. Eisenhower, who just so happens to be my second favorite president of all time, so that's pretty neat. Here's all who are sixth cousins, seventh cousins, and eighth cousins. Also, Madison is my sixth cousin, nine times removed. James Garfield, the 20th president, is my seventh cousin, five times removed. And Coolidge is my 10th cousin, once removed. And chances are that you watching this right now are also related to some presidents. So which president was the most closely related to the most other presidents? Well, if we limit it to eighth cousins or less, that'd be Franklin Roosevelt. FDR is closely related to 17 other presidents. Yep, he's related to almost 38% of all other presidents. I already mentioned the connection to Theodore Roosevelt and Van Buren, but FDR and Ulysses Grant, the 18th president, are fourth cousins once removed. FDR and John Quincy Adams are fourth cousins three times removed. He and John Adams are fourth cousins four times removed. He and Zachary Taylor are fourth half cousins cousins, three times removed. He and Rutherford Hayes, the 19th president, are sixth cousins, once removed. He and Franklin Pierce, the 14th president, are also sixth cousins, but twice removed. FDR is also sixth cousins, twice removed, with William Taft, the 27th president, Calvin Coolidge, and Gerald Ford, the 38th president. He and George H.W. Bush are sixth cousins, three times removed. And he and Bush Jr. are sixth cousins, four
four times removed. He and Millard Fillmore, the 13th president, are seventh cousins once removed. He and Grover Cleveland, the 22nd and 24th president, are eighth half cousins. He and Richard Nixon, the 37th president, are eighth cousins once removed. And finally, he and George Washington are eighth cousins four times removed. Woo! Well, the bottom line is that most of the presidents are fairly closely related. Not only that, if you make a big enough family tree, which I will not do, all of the presidents except for Martin Van Buren can trace their ancestors back to King John of England. However, to see a better breakdown of how all these presidents in this video I mentioned are all related to each other, check out this new video from Matt from Useful Charts, who also just happens to be a distant cousin of mine although I am much more closely related to Eisenhower than he is. Just saying. But anyway, it's a great video that, you know, has a very useful chart breaking it all down. Huh? This is actually a collaboration between Useful Charts Me and Genie Vlogger. So complete the trio, the trilogy, baby. Genie Vlogger has a video he just posted pretty much explaining how Every president is technically related to each other. <laughs> and he explains why, of course. So check out both those videos. In conclusion, we are all related. So from now on, I will be calling you my cousin. We'll see you later, cousin. This video is once again sponsored by Brilliant. Brilliant is a problem-solving based website, an app with a hands-on approach with over 60 interactive courses in math, science, and computer science. All of Brilliant's courses have storytelling, code writing, interactive challenges, and problems to solve. Brilliant puzzles you, surprises you, and expands your understanding of the modern world. Brilliant is the best education site I've seen for developing critical reasoning skills. I'm typically not a math or science guy, you all know that, and many of you watching maybe aren't too. However, maybe if this was around when I was in school, I would have enjoyed math and science so much more. As I tried it out, I was amazed with how I didn't even realize my brain was being exercised. To get started for free and try out everything Brilliant has to offer, go to brilliant.org slash MrBeats or just click on the link in the description. Doing so will get you 20% off of Brilliant's annual subscription, but you have to be the first 200 people to click on that link. So which presidents are you closely related to? Meaning you're at least eighth cousins. That's the cutoff. What's that? You don't know? Well, Genie Vlogger's friend actually made an app that's connected through the website Genie, and I put the link to it in the description as well. You click on that link and you enter your information on Genie, it will tell you how closely related you are to every American president. You can try it out, but first watch these two videos next, okay? So you're free to go, class is dismissed. Go on.